welcome to GTV. Today we'll be taking a closer look at motor nameplates and the settings needed for sizing up a drive. The motors I will be looking at are AC and DC, which may require different specifications when sizing a drive to a motor. AC motors in North America have been standardized by NEMA, while other motors are based on IEC standards. AC motor nameplates outline power, speed, voltage, frequency, and current. With NEMA, power is listed in horsepower and speed is listed in RPM. With IEC motors, power is listed in kilowatts and speed is listed in either RPM or min minus one. Horsepower and kilowatts are different values and one horsepower is roughly 0.745 kilowatts. For most drives, I will need to know the voltage, current, and the frequency. These should be outlined as volts, amps, and hertz. Many motors will have two voltage ratings and two current ratings. The motor can run on either of these voltage ratings, but then the current must be adjusted accordingly. So if the motor nameplate has 230 and 460 volts and 28 and 14 amps listed, the 230 volts would require 28 amps and the 460 volts would require 14 amps since double the voltage will need half the current. Other important factors to look at in a motor nameplate are the enclosure type, phase and frame size. This information can help further identify the type of motor you have. Phases can either be single or three phase. The enclosure type is usually represented by letters such as TEFC, TENV, or ODP. Each acronym is a different type of motor such as totally enclosed fan cooled for TEFC, totally enclosed non-ventilated for TENV, and open drip proof for ODP. Even explosion proof class motors can be listed with a division class for rated protection. DC motors have a few additional categories not found on an AC motor. This is the use of armature and field in relation to voltage and current. There are two separate ratings such as field voltage and field current and armature and armature current. A section on the motor will also indicate the starting method of the motor such as shunt wound, series wound, compound wound, or permanent magnet. Brushes are also written in the nameplate for future replacement if needed. Identifying the elements of the nameplate is required in replacement, retrofitting, and sizing up drives for motor control. AC drives and DC drives, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at Gelco.com. Also, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter by following the link below.